Hey guys, before I start this video, I just want to say that this is a Q&A. I have been asked these questions. I do not know that much about my PTLS. I'm going to answer these questions as best as I possibly can. This video will be mainly based around my PTLS. If you want to see a video like this, please, uh, for my Shark Mario 2, sorry, please comment down below that you want to see it. Ask me any questions so I can do any future Q&A's and let's jump right into this. I got asked how was my childhood, for example, like any therapies or and which so which kind. I didn't really have any therapies for PTLS, for CMT I did and with CMT there's a lot that I can't remember but if I do a CMT video, if you guys would like to see that, I will answer that question in that video. <laughs> he speaks so well, did you have any speech therapies? When I originally uh, read this question, I thought that I didn't and then I asked my mom just to double check and she's like, no, yes you did! And I'm just gonna read off script right now so I can get this right. Yes, I had a helper aid in kinder but don't remember much about that stuff. But I have troubles with s s still today, like s like first or f first first, first, for example, or, and I will mix that up a lot actually when I speak. I also do stutter a lot. <laughs> I try and cut it out in my videos and I script so I'm not really stuttering, but I stutter so much. I'm not sure if that's because of PTLS though or what that is for, but that's just a little thing that I also have. I've always had people like correct words that I say and have me with uh, punctuation. So if I said that I was struggling with a word, let's use like supercalifragilisticexpialidocious for a reason. For some reason that was the first word that came in my head, but who knows. Um, I would be, I would ask people to be like, can you say it really slowly? So like supercalifra and yeah. Gives you the little example. <laughs> I'm so awkward, I'm so sorry. And in primary school, when we were learning how to say words, we would always clap. Su, per, cali. We did that a lot, like I just was, took a little bit longer. I, I'm pretty sure to learn how to sound words. <laughs> what helped you most reach your full potential? Because let me tell you, when we listen to you, we see a beautiful, strong woman. And when you talk, I can't believe that you not only have one, but two disabilities. First of all, Thank you so much for saying this. You were a beautiful human. Really, it was just people around me saying that I can do things. You can do it. Uh, whatever you choose, I will support you. And really, it's just having that good group around me and like that good group of friends and like family just reminding me that even though right now I'm struggling, this is a like temporary struggle. Well, at least with this, like with choosing a course. I think I know what course I want to do anyway, but. With that, it's, that is just a temporary struggle and trying to find a job is a temporary struggle until this virus goes. Also looking at people who are disabled as well. So there's a person called Nick who he does like TED talks. This is a photo of him that I love and whenever I feel like I can't do anything, I look at these type of photos. This fully helps me so much. Can you tell us how everyday life is? I know you are not working right now, but have you ever worked? Did you ever drive? What are your hobbies, etc.? Have I ever drive or drove? Sorry. Yes, right now I have my learners. Surgeries have helped a lot with that as well. I am not working right now due to there's nowhere really hiring that I can apply for. But with working, I did work experience in high school since that was a thing we had to do. I have worked, but I haven't had an actual job job yet. My hobbies have been learning piano, playing games, also trying to figure out like budgeting and also managing money. Which probably doesn't count as a hobby really, but I'm doing it pretty much every day so I'm just chuck it in there. I like to watch Bettering Myself videos as well. I've been watching them a lot. I played table tennis for about six years when I was in high school but had to stop due to having surgery last year and I miss table tennis so much. I'm looking at what sports I can do since I've moved as well. The idea of doing badminton sounds really fun. I know that you are not with your parents right now, but a video of them giving us recommendations of how to take care of PTLS kids for them to reach their potential the same way you did would be great. My parents will never be in a video, but when writing the script, I rang mum 
And she said, and she said it's pretty much just reminding your kids that they can do it, showing kids that have maybe, I don't want to use the word worse disabilities or more challenging things maybe because everyone has so much challenging stuff, but just remind your kids that they can do it because every kid can tell that they're different. I don't know. I've ever met one disabled kid who's been like, I've never been able to tell that I am different. Reminding that they may be different, but they can still accomplish the same things. They can still do whatever they want in their life. Even if it's different, they can still do it. Hey guys, Editing Sky here really quick. I am sorry for this weird clip. Just a quick disclaimer of what I was trying to say before was, although you can see uh, other people doing things that might not be the norm, uh, that just to remind your kid that they can still do it, it might take a little longer. You, they might have to gain muscle in order to do it. They might have to have certain uh, things that help them out. Like I know with driving, there uh, some cars I think can get like gears on the steering wheel or something. I've heard something like that from someone. Don't take that like. Hey, there was a grown up, so it could be true, it could be not. I've got no idea. But just remind your kids that although someone's doing something that way, that's like their normal way, yet you can still do it. It just and that is also what I tell people who have been diagnosed with my Shaco as well. I'm not sh really sure if PTLS was being on Shaco for a second. I know it's my body, there might not be some things that I can really do, but. I've done it, like I tried surfing in high school at a camp and I fell over into the water. <laughs> that was fun, like I've done table tennis, I did soccer, I tried going for basketball but got dizzy with <laughs> running back and forth uh, the court so I didn't even join basketball. There's plenty of stuff you can do, you just have to keep working towards it. You've got to have the right support, support group or like support of friends and family around you just reminding you that you can do it. It's really just feeling love that pushes you to do things. Speaking on what I know about PTLS, with my stutter, I can semi remember when I when I used to stutter in school, I would just stop talking. Um, but now I try and push through it. And like, if I don't, people will be like, just try it, get, get through it. Or I'll just take a moment and just stop. And then be like, this is the word I was trying to say. Or this is the sentence I was trying to say. There's not really an advice I can give anyone to help out with kids or with anything because I'm still learning about PTLS. What you guys can find online is literally just really all I know. Please, please comment or email me uh, video ideas that you would like to see, any questions for a Q&A that I can do maybe later on, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!